Hi everyone, today I am giving you information on the topic non-optical aids. So let's move to its definition. Non-optical aids are also known as adapted devices. These are those adapted devices which we will give to the patient in addition with the optical devices. They are prescribed along with the optical aids to perform certain visual tasks. These are given along with the optical aids so that the patient can perform their visual tasks easily. Next one, classification. Now, they are relative size devices, light and illumination control, lighting tips, change in environment, posture and positioning devices, medical assessive devices, mobility assessive devices, and accessory substitution devices. Let's move to the relative size devices. Now, in this case, the size of an object should be kept increased according to the normal size. For example, large print books should be given to the patient large typewriters or the large keyboards so that the low vision patient can easily do their visual task with the help of these things. Next one, light and illumination control. Some patients need extra illumination and provided with the reading lamp. Okay. Lot of magnifiers come with inbuilt lighting system. Okay. Next one, patient with glare problem are provided with the tinted lenses. Tinted lenses means colored lenses typoscopes which provide the enhance their workability okay this one is the typoscope now the patient can keep like this and he can write wherever he wants to write and in the second picture if you can see he can read out this material easily by keeping the typoscope on it it is also used for the writing purpose he can write easily in a straight line Next one, photophobia can be reduced with the help of tinted contact lenses. Those patients which are very sensitive to the light, photophobia can be reduced with the help of contact lenses. Tinted means colored contact lenses. Next one, lighting tips. Now, when 200 watt bulb produces more glare than the 540 volt bulb, so we will provide the patient with 20 volt bulb because it will provide more glare. Place the lamp at the eye level and behind the shoulders. Okay. Next one, light should be opposite side the writing hand or the same side as the stronger eye. The light of a patient should be kept like this. Sometimes it is a lighting lamp and some, sometimes the patient have to keep it in the shoulder of the better eye. Okay. Next one, control or adjust the light glare with hat, eye shade or lamp. Okay. Next one, posture and positioning devices. Now, some of them are posture and positioning devices. First one is adjustable reading or writing stand. It will be adjusted at a particular distance at which the patient wants. Adjust and provide a comfortable working distance. Write with a bold tip pen. He or she can write with a bold tip pen which increases the size of the text and the thickness of the text. Large size telephones, voice modulators which help them easily communication these are the large telephones large size telephone so that the number can be easily seen and the low vision patient can dial it and use it easily these are the voice voice modulators these are attached with the spectacle so whatever is happens in front of the person can talk with it and the voice modulator guide the patient properly it will give a lot of confidence to the patient so that he or she can do the visual task or the moving here and there properly he can it can guide it properly medical assistive devices in case of medical assistive devices magnifiers designed for the syringes counter dose and single dose unit for the insulin these are for the diabetic patient if he or she have to take a dose of the insulin uh, so it can done by using the magnifier digital thermometers with voice modulators digital thermometers are there with mo voice modulator so that the thermometer can speak whatever the temperature is at okay now if you can see that this is a normal size and with the help of magnifier the size get increased so it will also help the low vision patient in taking the insulin dose next one mobility assistive devices in case of mobility assistive devices these are those assistive devices which help the patient to move from one place to another so important for the low vision patient to move independently so these are foldable and the non-foldable canes, electronic travel aids like GPS. Okay, so this is a foldable cane. It is a folded cane and one can open it and then use it. Sometimes light 
is also present here so that the person can use the LED light and can work. Next one, sensory substitution devices. Sense of seeing substituted with tactical and auditory senses. Okay, auditory senses are there in some cases. For example, digital clocks with LED displays and talking clocks. Talking clocks are there. Then the alarm rings. Then the clock will talk. Braille writing button with embossed and so that they can match the correct pair of clothes not text for identifying currency all these things are used okay these are the digital clock and the size of the text is again increased so in this way we will provide the non-optical aids along with the optical aids to the low vision patients thanks for your patience listening